Well, here we are in that VPC that we created together on YouTube. And what we need to do clearly is we need to, well, let me go ahead and launch my control node that we built together. As you recall, the Ansible control node is running the Linux 2 from Amazon Web Services. So what we need to do is we need to launch an instance that we will be controlling. And why don't we pick a variant of Linux? Let's go ahead and grab this Ubuntu server right here. So we're gonna pretend that we have one of those in the infrastructure that we wanna manage. So I'm gonna go right into my instance details and we're gonna spin this up in our Ansible VPC in the Ansible subnet. We will do an auto assign public IP address so we can go in and initially configure it. We'll accept all the other defaults. We'll go with the default general purpose SSD. We will add a tag. The tag will be its name. This is going to be the Ansible underscore node, or we'll call it a host. That's the name that Ansible would give it. It manages hosts, and then I'll do Ubuntu so that we can see at a glance what type of device this is. Then I'm gonna add another tag, and it's gonna be the Ansible key, and the value will be host one. So we'll then go to our security group, and the security group, we can go ahead and select an existing group. We created one for Ansible, so we'll choose that one. We'll go into the launch area and we'll choose an existing key pair. We have our Ansible key pair that we created last time. And that's that. We have now launched that instance. Let's go uh, down to view instances and we can see we are spinning up this host one that will be controlling from the control node. Let me go ahead and get logged into our control node because now would be a really good time to make sure that we can reach, just from a pure IP perspective, that host that we plan on controlling. So I've got a connection now to the control node, but I need to refresh here in the console because this image is still spinning up. But while it's spinning up, I'm gonna take a look, in fact, I can copy it to the clipboard, the private IP address of that host node that we are spinning up. And that's exactly what I can go ahead and test pinging from the control node. So here I'm logged into the control node and I will do a ping and we're gonna do five packets and I will just paste in that private IP address of that host node and we are seeing it is not successful and that's going to be a result for sure of the fact that it is still be, being created by AWS. So I am definitely not in a panic at this point. Let's go ahead and make sure that, ah, look at that. So now it shows as running. So we should be able to ping it, but guess what? We still don't meet with success. And you might know why, if you have a lot of AWS experience, think about our security group. The security group that we have attached to the network interfaces on these devices is this Ansible security group. And if you look at the rules, it's just SSH that we are permitting. So I'm gonna go in and add a rule and I'll be just really general with this because we're in a lab environment. I'll just say permit all ICMP and it can be from anywhere. So we would be more careful about security in a real environment, but we'll go ahead and make this modification to that security group. And then if I come in here and I rerun my ping, we see we've done it. We have built a host node that the Ansible control node can access and we've proven that with some simple ping testing from one node to the other. Thanks so much for joining me in this video and I hope you're excited for more that we'll do to construct this Ansible practice lab inside of Amazon Web Services.